Magandang araw. Uh, ako po si Dr. Elmer Soriano from Ayala Foundation Access Health International. At kasama natin si Dr. Lizel Lagrada uh, from PhilHealth. We are now at PhilHealth and Dr. Lagrada is here with us to tell us about the primary care benefit package of PhilHealth. Uh, Dr. Lizel is the uh, Senior Manager for Accreditation and Standards and Monitoring and she oversees the primary care and MDG teams of PhilHealth. So can you tell us about the uh, primary care benefit package of PhilHealth? Yeah, our primary care benefit is a really an uh, enhanced uh, outpatient benefit that we had since 2000 in mm -hmm. PhilHealth. No? Uh, but we introduced several uh, changes in the benefit and the way it's going to be delivered. So, Interesting. Okay. Ngayon, um, ano yung roles of, of the different, in the, in the municipality? What are the roles of the mayors, the private clinics, or physicians, the RHU, and then the members? Now that we have uh, this PCB uh, package. Um, interesting question. Because local chief executives or local government units, for instance, have uh, two primary roles in implementing national health insurance program. They are both sponsors, mm -hmm. meaning they pay the premium for those who they identify as poorest in their municipality or locality. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they are also service providers, mm -hmm. meaning they we also pay them back mm -hmm. for the services that they through the RHU? Yes, through the RHUs or through their hospitals. Or through their hospitals. No? Yeah. So, meantime, with that, you know, uh, roles that they pay us for the premium and we pay them for the services that they provided, sometimes the lines are becoming blurred. Mm -hmm. So that means sometimes, oh, you pay me, I pay you, mawas na lang. Mm -hmm. But we have to realize that a service provision is different mm -hmm. from paying the premium. Mm -hmm. no? Magkaiba yung obligasyon mm -hmm. ng magkaibang function. So you ask me, under the context of primary care provider and under the context of the national government paying for the premium of the poorest families identified through the national household, household targeting system, uh, kailangan lalo natin ipag-iba yung function na to. So, Ang LGUs, no, the sponsor pa rin sila ng mm -hmm. mga poorest families na hindi na-identify ng NHDS. Mm -hmm. But under PCB1, ang, uh, ang aming relasyon is that they provide the services and we pay them for those services. So, ano yung bentahe nito sa kanila? They have an assurance that they will be paid for the services that they give them. Mm -hmm to the entitled uh, members. No? Uh, and yung assurance na to under this new uh, policy is uh, paid to them on a quarterly basis. No? So, so as long as they deliver the services, mababayaran sila quarterly? Yes. Yes. And uh, ano din, depende sa ilan ang maka-enlist sa kanila. Bakit importante yung ma-emphasize natin ito? Kasi hindi lamang namin sila papayaran kung ilan yung in-enroll nila. In fact, mas marami pa silang uh, masiservisyo nga na hindi nila in-enroll. So yung bayad sa kanila hindi depende kung ilan lang yung in-enroll nila. Ang bayad sa kanila depende kung ilan ang nagpa-enlist sa kanilang facility. So ang bilangan ay eh, yung... Naka-enlist. Naka-enlist. Ang naka-enlist at naka-profile. Yun ang bilangan. Hindi yung ilan ang in-enroll nila. Okay. So, yun yung equation for mayors, basically. Yes, mayors, basically. So, kakusapin natin si mayor. Mayor, ang bilangan ngayon is ilang members naka-enroll, naka-enlist naka 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 doon sa facility ninyo, na sa servisyo ninyo. Uh -huh. And uh, given that number, servisyo nyo, and you get paid quarterly. Yes. Uh -huh. for, and for a mayor, ano man mag-election na. Ano yung upside nitong pagbabago na ito? Yung how, how is this uh, going to change the equation of primary care uh, for local policy makers? Oh. Malaking bagay kasi alam nila na 
bilang uh, under sa local government food, no, ang ating mayors and governors ay eh, naatasan na na pamunuan ang local health system sa kanilang bayan at probinsya. So that, no, isa ito na nagbibigay kahulugan sa, sa mandato na yun. Na ibig sabihin, hindi na empty promise. Ramdam na nila. Kasi, ha? Nakita ako, na-examine ako ng doktor ko. Kahit minsan sa isang taon, hindi lang ako buong pamilya ko. Hindi ba katuparan nyo ng pangako ng ating mga nagmuno? Na dadalhin nila ang sabisyo ka. So, so for a mayor, kaya na nyo ipagmalaki na, oh yeah, oh, lahat kayo, may ano na, oh, naramdaman nyo na na, oh, oh. na matitig na kayo ng doktor. Oh, na, at hindi kailangang magkasakit muna kayo bago uh, kayo matitig. So our viewers dyan, mga mayors, municipal health officers, health workers, ano yung summary ng ano, uh, PCB package na gusto nyo iparating sa kanila? Naman po sa ating mga, sa ating mga namumuno, sa ating mayors, sa ating governors, isa po itong malaking hakbang na maisakatuparan po yung pangako natin, yung mandato natin, na yung servisyo pang kalusugan ay mararamdaman ng ating mga constituents. Okay. Maraming salamat po. Uh, muli, ako si Dr. Elmer Soriano ng Ayala Foundation Access Health International. At kasama natin si Dr. Lizelle Lagrado of PhilHealth. Uh, please join us in our next uh, episode of Health Policy Truth.